Badger Books British World War II series. Hi, I'm Gary Lavisi, and this time we're going to take a look at the Badger Books uh, British uh, vintage paperbacks that were published by John Spencer Company uh, in England from around 1958 to 1962. Very few of these are dated, but they are from that era. The World War II series is interesting. Uh, it has over a hundred books in it, and it has some really cool cover art uh, from the uh, depicting uh, action in uh, both theaters of the war in uh, Europe against the Germans in World War II, and also in the Pacific against the Japanese. And some of the, uh, the covers are really uh, pretty brutal, pretty intense, uh, kind of propagandistic because uh, at the time. We were at war, and this is basically after war, after the war was over, and there was a lot of uh, animosity, and uh, also there was a lot of uh, depictions of cruelty. That's that a lot of these books were written by soldiers who had actually fought. So here's the spines of the books. Very interesting, very nice, colorful group. There's over a hundred of these, and this is by no means a, co a, a collection. Uh, it's just a grouping that I, I bought recently, a book haul, and I just want to share them with you. And uh, so without further ado, we're going to take a look at them now. Uh, the Morning Calm. This is uh, the World War II series, number 46. They usually have the uh, number on the spine and uh, also sometimes on the cover. The back covers are pretty much the same. Just tell a little bit about the book. Uh, John Spencer and Company from London. And The Morning Calm is uh, British men. This is actually a, a book set in Korea, uh, not World War II, but it's in the World War II series. So that's The Morning Calm. Um, another one that's uh, uh, American, uh, about American uh, paratroopers. And it's Sky Devils by James L. Bradley. These have really very cool action war cover art, uh, World War II cover art. And uh, I think they're pretty cool. It's, it's not a set that I collect. I collect the Supernatural series, which we're going to look at uh, in the next video, and uh, also the Science Fiction series. And then there's other mystery series that I collect, which we're going to have. Uh, videos more extensive on those in the future but right now this is just a, a book haul a group that came into my possession a while back and I just want to share these with you I think they're pretty cool um, oh by the way this is number 130 so later on they just WW World War 130 uh, in the in the early earlier books their World War two series and then the number like 46. And this is uh, World War II series 98, The Last Frontier by J.T. Thomas. Some uh, American ace paperback collectors might recognize this cover art. This is from the uh, American ace paperback, uh, but I don't think it was this book, but this art was reused. Number 122. Prelude to the Storm by Anton Ritchie, uh, the Polish campaign in Germany and Norway, uh, Nazi atrocities and uh, terror in those countries. Number uh, 116 is Flank Assault by J.K. Maxwell, and this is the story of the uh, New Zealand division, New Zealand soldiers fighting in the uh, Africa, fighting against the Africa Corps in North Africa as the New Zealand uh, insignia. And they also have it on the hat. I'm not sure who did the cover art. Some of it is, is, um, is signed, but it's, uh, it's, it's uh, hard for me to read. Some of it is uh, probably by Fox. Uh, the next book is number 140. No Walls Too Tall by John Rowland. And uh, 
It's a story of a, of a, pr a prison fortress, uh, GI trying to escape. Number 106, Passport for the Damned by Robert L. Fuller. Um, a powerful book of one of the most amazing prison escapes of the war. There's a friend of mine in the UK who likes prison escape books. I don't know if he's ever read this one, but uh, Jules, this is, uh, this is one that might strike your fancy. Cover art is really cool on these. It's, uh, now this one, the cover art is by Fox and is signed. It's number 139, The Betrayed by Anton Rickler. And this is uh, a story of the uh, resistance against the uh, Nazis. So I guess this is some Gestapo guy or whatever, and uh, they're arresting a, uh, a resistance uh, fighter. Number 123. Um, is uh, The Wandering Years by Anton Rickler again. And this is the story of refugees in Europe. Uh, Nazi SWAT sticker showing you that they caused all of this havoc and, uh, and destruction and the refugees. Number 109 is The Iron Heel by Anton Rickler. And this is, uh, looks like R-A-M-E-Y did the cover, and it's uh, Europe under the heel of the Gestapo. With a suitably nasty Gestapo officer. Number 100 is Prelude to Glory by D.J. Raymond. And this is the story that led up to and uh, uh, culminated in Dunkirk. And just to show you the back covers of some of these again, similar, similar cover art, a back cover art. It's nice, but uh, basically just tells about a little bit about the book. The Unconquered by R.E. Crawford is number 113, and this is another Korean War book set in Korea. Number 50, Aerosol by N.B. Carter, is the first thousand bomber raid on Nazi Germany. Number 72, The Naked Sun by B.L. Maxwell is the uh, bombing of Japan with the atomic bomb. So he has the American planes flying over either Hiroshima or Nagasaki. A lot of the books had uh, showed the uh, Nazi and Japanese uh, empires, soldiers, uh, brutality against uh, prisoners and civilians. And this one's no exception. Number 93, Camp Massacre by Michael Thomas. For thousands of prisoners, death was the only release from this camp of horror. And here you see a Japanese soldier uh, about to uh, execute a tied up prisoner. Um, number 61 is uh, Jungle Command by C.K. Newton. The U.S. Infantry in Battle for New Georgia Island in the Pacific. This is interesting because it has a uh, photo cover, and I don't think there are very many, if any, Badger uh, war books with photo covers. Might be the only one. Maybe, maybe there's another one somewhere. Uh, number 89 is Sky Command by Anton Rickler. He seems to have contributed at least four or five books to the series. A German fighter pilot in the uh, last days of Hitler's Germany. A 
Striking Force by uh, K.L. Jackson is number number 88. And uh, these are the uh, the um, kind of, I guess you'd call them rangers or uh, you know, uh, commandos that fought with Wingate in his uh, operations in, in Burma and that area against the Japanese. Um, number 83 is Dieppe Glory by John Stoneham. And uh, that's the story of one of the, uh, one of the battles in Europe. Here's an early one, number 33, Courage Be My Guide by Warren, Le Leonard P. Warren. The liberation of North Africa, British forces were striking deep into Ethiopia. That's one of the early ones. The early ones are a little bit bigger, you can see, than uh, the later ones. They're more like a digest size. And the cover art, I happen to like the cover art on the early uh, World War II series. I think it's a lot, this kind of cover art, it's much more pulpy and exciting than the later cover art. There's another earlier one. Um, Number eight, Shadow Over Europe by James R. Barton. And it's the first military operation of the war, the German invasion of Poland. And here's this in the beginning, the World War II series. This is book number eight. I'll just to show you the back covers on these. Back covers are not really special. I mean, this one has a little bit of uh, use of the art from the cover, but basically they just have the logo, the Badger logo, or and, and uh, just some information on the book. And the last one we have is Battle, Battle Clouds by uh, John K. Raymond, which is number 133, um, and it's the Battle of Britain. The Flyers who fought the German planes coming over England and, and, uh, and won the Battle of Britain and saved, saved Britain and maybe saved the world. And uh, that's just a, a group of some Badger World War II series. Like I say, I don't collect these uh, as a group, but I got a group in, the, in, in a uh, recent buy and uh, I thought they're pretty cool. Uh, they're interesting books. You don't see them that often, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this look at them, and uh, we're going to take a look at some more Badger books uh, in the next video uh, in the Supernatural series, which is really, uh, really outstanding and really has a terrific cover art. But the cover art on these is pretty cool, and these books are, uh, are pretty nice. Interesting uh, uh, stories of World War II and... Uh, and uh, the, the brutality of, uh, of war. So uh, anyway, I just hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and a like and uh, subscribe and uh, see you next time. Thank you.